fantastic work. You've just changed positions as well. So you're working at a school, yes. um, helping children that are having challenges in their lives. Yes. So would you share a little bit about um, what's happening for you at this school and how it's working? This work I'm doing with a school, it's a school for children with emotional and behavioural challenges in their lives. These children come from broken homes of all variants that you can imagine. With my experience and my understanding of the work I've done with the Pathways Foundation, I know that kids, in particular boys, I suppose, they heal best out in nature, you know? So we, one of the things we've started doing since, since I went to this school is taking our kids on bushwalks. And uh, we went for one just on Thursday this week down to uh, a beautiful place in northeast Victoria, Woolshed Falls, it's called. It's just the most stunning countryside with rippling, splashing, creeks and rivers and things, it's just lovely. It's just good to see the different kids we took there, how they all respond to, you know, what we saw, you know. There was one kid said, oh, I thought this was going to be shit, but, but, it's, but it's great, thanks, <laughs> thanks, miss, you know, they say to their teacher. And, uh, and one boy was just like, he was, he's 14, but he was behaving like a 14 year old. What if he was, you know, at a fair or something, you know, it was, he was just romping around, literally running off here and running off there just having the time of his life with a smile on his face from ear to ear, you know. It was just great to see the kids really enjoying and responding to being out in the, in the bush. Mm -hmm. So we plan on doing as much of that kind of thing as we can with these kids, taking them for overnight camps and sitting around the campfire and, and getting them to talk about their lives and uh, what they want to do and where they want to go in their lives and mm -hmm. trying to get them to think about the future because they don't, often they, they seem to not have any thoughts of the future. I think you need to think a little bit about the future mm. and what you'd like to do and, and who you are in this world, you know, what you bring to this world. Why don't you think they think about the future? Or do I think there's a reason for that? I think about my own experience, I suppose, when I was that age. I'm sure I didn't think about the future either, but looking back, I wished I had. I don't remember ever being inspired to, you know, to anyone sort of inspire me to think about what I could do or be in this world. You just keep bumbling along your way and I guess it's trying to take an interest in their lives and getting them therefore to respond to take an interest in their own lives. And a lot of them I don't think have much interest in their lives, you know. So why are you doing this work, Neil? I remember thinking of talking to another life coach uh, friend of mine who, who explained it in a way that makes sense for me and it's you've got to give in the world what you want. It just comes back, you know. And what are you giving them? I'm giving them compassion, I guess opportunities to, to express themselves and be themselves in that natural environment. But out in nature, they do change. There's a difference, something different happens when they're out in the, amongst the trees and the sky and the fresh air. Mm, what is it? It's that sense of freedom, I suppose. In a physical sense, they can be active, they can run around and jump off rocks. And <clears throat> I guess it's, I don't know, it's, it's many things. So have you given yourself compassion? Have you given yourself? Yes. The space to yes, do this. Yes, absolutely. And that's, I guess, why I want to continue this because there's no better place than sharing it with the child because it's the child that needs the help, needs the support mm. you know, and, and the encouragement and the acceptance and all those things that as a kid I felt I didn't get. So you can give it to yourself firstly and then share it. Mm. To me that How works. come you didn't get them? What's the earliest memory you have when you didn't get those, that feeling? I had a ordinary relationship with my father in particular. He was a fairly closed man emotionally and as a child I think you look for your parents acceptance and, and their love. Well, I guess I didn't even realise that it wasn't happening until you you are an adult and experiences happen in your life where you go, oh, you start to think about what, what you experienced as a child. Like parts of the jigsaw of life are missing. In a way, I've gone, gone back in my life to put those pieces of the jigsaw back in place so mm -hmm. that my life feels like it's the complete picture, mm. not a picture with bits missing. So how many pieces do you have back in place right now <laughs> and what bits missing? I haven't been counting, but uh, <laughs> um, I guess you're always fine-tuning uh, that life experience and enhancing it as much as you can to make it a, a fulfilling and, and a beautiful thing. 